record this. Welcome, uh, Riku. All right, so folks, welcome back. Uh, I'm Hi. talking to one of our students, Riku Watala. From uh, is are you in Germany right now? Are you back in Germany? Actually, I'm I'm in Finland currently. Finland. Back to Germany. yeah. In the next six months or so after this. How are you doing, brother? We've been praying for you. I um, uh, got a message from Riku last week. He was uh, having to, uh, actually, there's some things going on with uh, the government of Finland. Uh, I'll let him talk about it, but I'm just going to set it up a little bit, uh, where he actually had to go and uh, possibly, did you actually have to do the training or, or did you get out of that? Yeah, it's actually, every Finnish uh, man has to go mandatory military service, but one can uh, do the civil service as well. Yeah, but I, I I used to do the original uh, military service uh, twenty years back. Really? But so now, considering all the tensions here, yeah. I thought, and uh, <clears throat> certainly my <clears throat> thinking has changed last uh, twenty years so drastically. That now, when you, when you say civil service, does, does that mean like the, the the general population prepares for combat or war? Uh, is that what that is, or, or they go into shelters or something? It's the current system that uh, everybody has to attend. Ah. It's, it's mandatory according, according to law, but um, but uh, for for my personal reason, it was because certainly if, if something uh, uh, bad may occur, I'm not saying that it will, but right. it looks like that there is fair right. chance. Let's just talk about it. Let's let's talk about what what you're seeing over there, and, and let's talk about the writing on the wall. Does it appear that NATO is um, getting ready for something? Sure, and they they actually U.S. Army uh, did a drill in Finland last summer, and it had it was the first very first time ever. Wow. So that shows that there is some sort of uh, interest, and uh, and it it seems as well that. The public is not uh, too aware of what's going on behind the scenes. You mean the That's Finnish, the, the Finnish public, or, or America? Yeah, uh, now I mean Finnish public. Okay, so and, um, so your you guys, army, your army is doing drills everywhere. Yeah, but they haven't been doing that in England, so that's the first time. Yeah, they have been uh, doing some cooperation, and that's not, of course, uh, something that uh, Putin is very. Point of so so right. yeah uh, but uh, yeah behind the scenes there are some movements that um, of course uh, the ordinary ordinary guy on the street doesn't necessarily see anything uh, uh, spectacular going on but but the politi politicians and all the uh, forces behind uh, and of course U.S. Army uh, yeah. is, uh, it's it's uh, I'm a little concerned about the. You, you speak of the United States Army. Uh, I, I think the last statistic I saw was in uh, combat-ready soldiers was around 500,000, um, which is a huge uh, cut from from when I was in the military. Uh, apparently, this administration that we have now has done a lot of cutbacks, and military is one of those. So uh, I believe we're actually very vulnerable. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Putin has roughly in his mechanized division alone around 500,000. So, uh, you know, so our army, 500,000, his tanks, 500,000 alone. That's not yeah, counting. Exactly. exactly. Not counting soldiers and Air Force and Navy and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, saying that the war is imminent, imminent, but, um, but certainly there are some uh, interesting maneuvers and, and, um, of, of course, quite many who are aware are quite um, troubled that uh, where, where these things will uh, evolve. And uh, of course, it, it doesn't take too many months and we are totally in a different situation. Where I saw red, the red flag I saw, the, the concern I had was when I saw uh, President Putin sitting at a table with uh, national correspondents and he was uh, trying to convey them the seriousness of the actions of the United States, and he was uh, he was upset that the, the media could not uh, grasp the seriousness of the situation. Um, this man uh, believes, I, I see it in his eyes, that war is imminent. So uh, 
the words we're hearing from other people is he's moving things around the country, mobile missile systems and things like that. So uh, he believes that war is imminent. And uh, that's a big problem when, when your enemy is on the trigger. <laughs> so to sure, speak. sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I shouldn't be laughing, but, um, but yeah, the situation is very serious, certainly. Yeah. And all the rhetoric especially between us and, and russia as you know it's, it's right and, uh, and and by default they are, playing, they are playing with the fire now but yes but, but how how it will what are the implications that we are not aware of but uh right what i've seen and and what i have been learning recently of course as far as finland is concerned it's it's troublesome because we are so close we have such a history and if the conflict escalates we are immediately involved right folks if you didn't know where finland is it's literally on the front line it's in the, it's in the northern part of europe and right across the way from russia uh yeah, we have uh, one, one thousand one, one thousand uh, uh, three hundred kilometers common border there so right quite a long wow. border uh, but but certainly uh, traditionally finland have had really good relationship with um, uh, Russia and, and currently we I think our president has constant dialogue with Putin and uh, that's good met last summer it was uh, at the end of uh, uh, was it June or July and they discussed regarding the Syria of course but, but yeah there, there are some some uh, tensions in between and and especially Finland has taken uh, uh, such a uh, drastic measures towards U.S. cooperation, but that's right. something that I'm really right. worried about. It's that hasn't been the case. And they have, they have been doing that behind the scenes, and uh, uh, there's no parliamentary decisions made anything, so that that's kind of a, the wrong wrong word is conspiracy, but, but something um, uh, totally different than before is happening there. Right, so, so things are different. It's so yeah. it's very costly to be an ally of the United States. Does it seem to uh, the Finnish people that the United States could be potentially dragging the Finnish people into a war, a world war. That that that, that could be a plausible uh, explanation that um, uh, Finnish people are so blinded, especially politicians, that they they think they are doing good job uh, with the U.S. Army and uh, U.S. politicians. But um, I'm not. I don't agree. <laughs> so so agree. that's totally totally wrong way. Right. Uh, because we have had good very good dialogue with Russians and Putin especially. So there hasn't been any, any, any problems so far. So right. We should more or less lean on, on the Russian side to be more safe. Than <laughs> You're right. Uh, and in sitting here in America, I think, uh, you know, I don't feel secure uh, with this government. I do feel like that, you know, that's wise decisions are not being made. And yeah. uh, we could be potentially, all of us, be dragged into something. Th th this is um, historical. Yes, we right. haven't seen anything like this before. Of course, this is totally a new era, and right. who knows what what it will bring. And and that's why I did the civil side service now. Like a, it's it's mandatory if you go mm. to that system, because uh, in case of conflict, in case of war, every single Finnish guy has to attend. There, it's it's mandatory by law. You cannot avoid it. And mm. <clears throat> who am I? To take any weapons and start to kill people i'm, I'm not going to do that that's right sure. yeah even though i want to defend my certainly my country but uh, that's a different story i can right. do some other, other stuff it's different with with family and, and and country and things like that where you feel a sense of uh you know patriotism to protect um your exactly. your, your people and but, your family but but, but uh, we are really praying that that's not the case but it looks like there are some some developments we, we we are not going to avoid anymore. So yeah, I think this power, with this power structures are mixed this, already. But this election that we're going through here in the states is uh, very critical, I believe. Um, you're not going to do too much. Many people who watch this channel know that I feel uh, from analyzing what we've seen in the codes and, and scripture that it looks like um, we are still under judgment and that uh, we will have Hillary as president. Now, it seems overwhelming. I told you guys this, that the code show that Trump wins, Hillary steals. What does that mean? Could it mean that she stole the nomination? Very well could be. But I believe that she steals 
the actual election. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so we're not making any, any predictions here. This is analytical. We're analyzing what we're seeing, and uh, you know we have to wait and see how it plays out. Um, we're still learning. If, when we're talking about codes, we're still learning methodology. Uh, there's no um, an instruction book on what the father meant when he put it in there. So these things we're discovering ourselves. Uh, but it is clear from looking at the writing on the wall, seeing what's encoded and what's on the plain text in prophecy, that uh, these things must happen at the end of the era. We are in a new era, and uh, we know from Scripture that Gog and Magog, or Armageddon, uh, does come. And in all the nations are, are maneuvering and are getting ready for war. Um, you know, all, the, all that we can do as believers is watch and pray and uh, just be faithful. Uh, we certainly been praying for you, Riku. Uh, again, Riku is one of our students. Uh, yeah, I've been praying for everybody. Yes, we, uh, we missed you in our Zoom meeting the other night, but um, I'm glad we get to talk today. Uh, it is very early where Riku is. He should be sleeping right now. It's uh, almost one o'clock here, mountain time, so it's very late where he is. Uh, so we just wanted to catch up with you, Riku, make sure everything is, is going well and kind of get some in, into, uh, info no problem. No problem. on what's going on in uh, your side of the world. No, 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 nothing drastic, but uh, things point towards very nasty things, certainly. Yeah. As we know, many, many things point towards uh, escalation and, <clears throat> and scripts, uh, scripts uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, behind the console. That's um, the most important thing. And what comes to codes, yeah. there are lots of interesting what you have, Jonathan, found. And I, I believe those, those are a bit codes and, and one has to take those seriously. Yes. Yes. Amen. All right, brother. Well, we will, uh, is there anything you want to, anything else you want to share with us, brother, before I, uh, I don't want to keep you too long. I know it's, uh, no problem. The thing we, the whole group, we have been so blessed to be participating in this this amazing schooling. And <clears throat> thanks for your tremendous job you have been doing. Well, very. Wonderful. I couldn't do it without the Holy Spirit and without the Father giving me. Uh, so I'm so full of yeah, a mate. Without uh, uh, without Father, we couldn't do anything. That's right. Sure. Amen. But but Amen. yeah, but it's not so easy. And as a student, certainly. We have the foundations, and we we've learned some Hebrew basics, which is very interesting. And, and then the codes, of course, and we've been able to maneuver some code search already. And and uh, they they are certainly this Benjamin's table was a very yeah. very particular one. Yeah. Very yeah, there's a lot more to come. Uh, there's several of you that I'd like to get to uh, speak with uh, in Zoom, and maybe go over some tables. Riku is one of those. Uh, Benjamin, of course, everyone's met Benjamin. Did we lose you, Riku? It looks like you froze. I may have lost Riku, folks. <laughs> All right. Wonderful, brother. I'm going to close it out because I think he's, his call has dropped off. We're talking literally on two sides of the world. So uh, be praying for Riku and his family. He has two uh, children and a wife. Uh, here he is. He's back. I saw you drop out, so I was going to close it out. <laughs> okay. Lost you, uh, lost you for momentarily. All right. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, basically, I don't know. Did you get anything there? Well, we heard, we heard uh, you talking about the school, and then you dropped off uh, momentarily. So I was going to uh, just just close it out and uh, bless you. Yeah, yeah. On the way. Well, Rico, that's, uh, that's all the questions I've got. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube and so everyone can see what's going on. Uh, okay. you, you be and safe I, and be blessed. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jonathan. And all the best for you uh, yes. for this, this week. And uh, I tried to come to Zoom on okay. uh, it's Friday morning then. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll see you then, brother. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have a... Be blessed. Shalom. Bye. 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 Bye.